Hey friends! Today we're going to make some vegan and gluten-free French crepe with my homemade vegan Nutella. Let's start by roasting the hazelnuts by adding them to the oven for 15 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. In the meantime, we're going to prep the crepe batter. To a big bowl, we are going to add 260 grams of buckwheat flour, one teaspoon of both bicarb soda and baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. And we are going to mix them together. Then we add the wet ingredients. We have two teaspoons of vanilla extract, two tablespoons of maple syrup, 40 grams of softened butter, one and a half cup of soy milk, and we are going to give that a really good mix. And then we add one cup of soda water. Using a fizzy liquid improves the texture of the batter. This was a tip from one of my friends, Max, who happens to be a French chef. Once it's all combined and the dough is nice and smooth, we are going to let it rest under a wet cloth for 30 minutes to an hour. And this is really important, please do not skip this step. In the meantime, let's get back to our hazelnuts. They are nicely roasted and it smells amazing. Place them into a cloth and rub it for a couple of minutes while they are still hot. This will help remove most of the skins, which can be a little bit bitter. Add most of the hazelnuts to your blender and we want to save a few on the side so we can crunch them later and add a bit of texture to the paste. Now to make the Nutella, we add 2 tablespoons of cacao powder, 1 tablespoon of maple syrup, you can add a little bit more if you like it sweeter, half a cup of soy milk, you can add more milk if necessary, this will depend on the strength of your blender. And we blend until smooth. I like to crush the rest of the hazelnuts and stir them into the paste so it's a little crunchy. I like to put it directly into a jar because it holds really well, so if you don't eat it all at once, you can keep it in the fridge for 5 days. It doesn't really last long in our home though, it's so tasty, Cam usually eats it very quickly. Now that our crepe batter is nice and rested, we are going to heat up a non-stick pan to medium heat and add a little bit of butter. We are going to pour approximately a quarter of a cup of butter onto the pan. You might want to tilt the pan with a circular motion so that the batter cuts the surface evenly and you get a nice thin crepe. Cook the crepe for about 1 minute until the bottom is lightly brown and you can see some little bubbles have formed. Loosen with a spatula, turn and cook the other side. It usually takes a little bit less time, so around 30 seconds. And now onto my favorite part, the toppings. We get to spread our delicious Nutella. And I like to add some fresh fruits. Here I use some sliced banana and some raspberries. I also added some cacao nibs and shredded coconut and it is such an awesome combo. The crepes are so versatile too and I would love to hear what flavor combo you come up with so please let me know your favorites in the comments. These vegan and gluten-free French crepes are super nourishing and make for the perfect afternoon snack. It takes us back to the first time we traveled to my home in the south of France together. I hope you enjoy them as much as we do. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next one.